Boy, you must be tripping. You gonna stretch this out. No, 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 sir. No, sir. What's up guys, this is the old ninja wearing a Vitus and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja and today we're doing a tutorial video for you guys that are interested in learning some simple combinations that can help you stay prepared for any situation that may come your way. Now this conversation I'm going to be using a bag called Bob from Century Martial Arts. And if you were interested in checking one out for yourself and getting one for yourself, there's a link down below to Century Martial Arts where you can check out the Bob bag and get one for yourself and use my code NINJA10 to get 10% off your purchase. So if that's something you want to get into, it's there for you. But without further ado, let's go into this self-defense combo. your face is faced with your opponent let's say they're throwing a punch at you so we're gonna assume he's throwing that left hook at my head and that's not good because my head's kind of important it's where my eyes are so I can see him it's where my mouth is so I can actually yell for help it's where my brain is so I can you know live oh man that's deep and all that fun stuff but uh so so that means so that means the first thing we're going to want to do is protect our head. So what you're going to do is you're not going to try and, you know, beat him to the punch. There's things that you can do like that, but it takes time, it takes practice, and it takes speed, which is not easy. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the arm that he's throwing it at. If he's throwing his left hand, you're going to take your same side, your right side in this case, because we're facing each other, and you're going to take your hand and put it tight by your head so you can take the impact with your arm and your shoulder as opposed to into the side of your head so you're going to keep it nice and tight leaning away from the punch you don't want to lean into it for obvious reasons so leaning away from the punch and keeping that arm nice and tight in so that it takes it and puts all that pressure and power into your shoulder and body from there you're going to use this lean as your wind up for your first punch your first punch is going to the floating rib breaking that floating rib it is incredibly easy to break a, a person's rib so punching in that area is going to be very effective for most people now one thing you're going to remember is just like in my punching video if you haven't seen that i'll probably do another one pretty soon but you're going to want to punch with the first two knuckles of your hand so that you don't end up breaking <laughs> the rest of your hand because punching with your pinky could end up with a broken fist hit me hit me hit me <laughs> Together, you're gonna want to block and with your first two knuckles send them into their floating ribs just like that so it'll be one two just like that now that's not gonna stop somebody like a body shot isn't gonna knock somebody out so what you're gonna want to do is use the, the most deadly bone in your body in my opinion at least one of them is your elbow you're going to from that punch you're going to rear this elbow and you're going to aim for the hinge of their jaw right where the jaw bends that's where uh it's easiest to break a person's jaw so you're going to aim the tip of your elbow at the hinge of their jaw so that when it makes contact you can use your body momentum not just kind of throw your elbow out there but you're using your entire momentum your torque to throw that hit out there now, of, and of course, if you're a big, strong dude, you may be able to knock him out with by throwing your elbow. That may do some damage, but if you're getting attacked, it's likely by a person that's bigger and stronger than you. Last week, we Hi, I'm SpongeBob. Hi, SpongeBob. I'm gonna kick your butt. So, using your body's momentum is gonna be significantly more important than just 
kind of throwing out your elbow, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that makes sense. Comment down below if it doesn't make any sense. So all together, it's going to make up a combination that has three main key points out of it. It has your guard point, it has your stun point, and it has your knockout point. Because even if you don't knock them out, it'll break their jaw and, and no one wants to fight with a broken jaw. It sucks. So all together, it'll look something like this. And notice how I pull my hands back up into a guard position, ready for them to throw something in case I've missed, in case I've opened myself up. Maybe we were both going for a punch at the same time, and uh, I, I just need to always be ready to stay on my guard, especially in a self-defense situation, because you never know people are built different. You never know if they might move, they might, um, you might miss because, you know, <laughs> lack of experience you, there's a million and one things that can happen so always being on your guard until everything's done and you are safe always being on your guard is vital ain't that right steve all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you took some lessons and some uh, value from what i said today and what you uh saw today um if you have any questions or any want want to get any questions answered or anything like that message me on discord Jeff, there's a link to my link tree and a link to my discord down below as well so if that's interesting to you and something you want to look into definitely check it out but until next time thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe because my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out